Hi and welcome to Math Made Easy. So this question is based on area and perimeter. It says A, B, C, D is a rectangle with a perimeter of 76 centimeters. E, F, G, H is a square. Okay, so before I move on, I will mark the properties of a square in this diagram given. So we know that all four sides are equal and all angles are right angles or 90 degrees. So next we are told that E and G are the centers of the two circles within the rectangle and the radius of both circles is 7 centimeters. Okay, so if we take a closer look at the square here, we can see that GF and GH is the radius of this circle, whereas EF and EH is the radius of this circle. So we are told that the radius of both circles is 7 centimeters. Therefore, one side of the square is 7 centimeters. Okay, so question A is what is the length of AB? So in the question we are told that the perimeter of the rectangle is 76 centimeters. So now we need to work with the information that has been given to us to find the length of AB. So since the length and breadth of the rectangle has not been given to us. I'm going to say that the length of the rectangle is x and the breadth is y centimeters. So the perimeter would be 2x plus 2y which is equal to 76 centimeters. Okay so we are told that the radius of a circle is 7 centimeters. So if the radius is 7 centimeters, the diameter of the circle would be 14 centimeters. And it's interesting to note that the diameter of the circle is equal to the breadth of the rectangle. Therefore, y is equal to 14 centimeters. So now we can solve this equation by substituting y equals 14. Okay, so answer to question A, which is the value of x, is 24 centimeters. Okay, so question B is, what is the perimeter of the unshaded area of the two circles? So now I will just highlight the perimeter of the unshaded area of this circle, which is this portion, and this circle, which is this portion. Okay, so if you just observe the highlighted parts, you can see that we just need to find the perimeter of these two circles. Okay, so we know that the perimeter of a circle is its circumference. So C is equal to pi D. So I will be using the diameter in this instance. And if you prefer, you can use the C equals 2 pi R equation as well. Okay, so we are told to take pi equals 22 over 7. So that will be C equals 22 over 7 times D, which is 14. So if we solve this, the circumference of one circle is equal to 44 centimeters. And since both circles are equal, the total perimeter of the unshaded area would be 44 into 2 
which is 88 centimeters. Okay, so moving on to the area question. We need to find the total area of the shaded parts. So let's take a look at this portion first. So if you take a look at the part that I have highlighted in red, we can see that this portion is a quadrant of this circle. A quadrant is one-fourth of a circle. So next, I'm going to draw a line of symmetry in this square from H to F. So next, we can proceed to find the area of the quadrant and then deduct the area of the triangle to find the area of this portion. So similarly, to find the area of the portion marked in black, we need to find the area of the quadrant highlighted in purple and we need to minus the area of triangle FGH. So since both circles are equal, the areas marked in red and black are equal. So the equation for the area of a circle is pi r squared. So to find the area of a quadrant, which is one fourth of a circle, we just divide the area by 4 or multiply by 1 over 4. Okay, so area of a quadrant is 1 over 4 times pi r squared. So pi in this instance is 22 over 7 and r is the radius which is 7 squared. So the area of the quadrant is 38.5 centimeters. So next we need to find the area of triangle FEH. So the area of a triangle is half into base into height. So in this instance, the base and the height of the triangle is equal and is equal to the radius of the circle which is 7 centimeters. So area of the triangle is equal to half into 7 times 7 which is 24.5 centimeters. So the area of the shaded part red is equal to 38.5 minus 24.5 centimeters which gives us 14 centimeters and the area of the part marked in black is also equal to 14 centimeters so the area of this portion is equal to 14 plus 14 which I have marked as area 1 so that will be 28 centimeters. Okay, so if we take a look at area 2, we can see that it is the difference in the area of rectangle ABCD and the area of these two circles. However, this part is overlapping, so we need to find the area of one circle plus this portion of the other circle. So what we can do is we can find the area of the full circle and then deduct this portion which we have already found out which is 28 centimeters. Okay so area of a circle is pi r squared so pi in this instance is 22 over 7 and r is 7. So that will be 7 times 7. So the area of the circle would be 154 square centimeters. Okay, next let's find the area of 
this portion of the circle so that will be 154 square centimeters minus 28 which gives us 126 square centimeters which gives us a total of 280 square centimeters okay so next let's find the area of the rectangle which is 24 into 14 which gives us 336 square centimeters so area of shaded part 2 would be 336 minus 280 square centimeters which gives us 56 square centimeters okay so the answer to question C would be the total of the areas of shaded part 1 which is 28 and shaded part 2 which is 56 square centimeters which is 84 square centimeters